Hey guys, it's me. Um, as you guys can, as you guys can probably figure, I am a writer. I like to write um, stories and poems and stuff like that. So I have decided to make a video of me reading some of my poetry. So um, I decided to do this to show a little bit of me, the real me, the one that people don't see, the one that I hide away because I'm ashamed of. And I know it's taking a big risk for all the recent haters I've got, um, gotten. But, um, I don't care. I don't care what you guys think anymore. I don't. Words are words. They can't hurt you. So, go ahead, comment, whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay? I just want you guys, the ones who actually like me, to kind of get inside my mind and know what sometimes I really think. So, first off, the first poem I'm going to read is called um, Sleep Now, My Dark Angel. Um, you guys don't know this because, you know, I haven't really talked about it. Um, but about 2007, um, Valentine's Day of 2007, I was dating a guy, well, we weren't really like dating dating, it was more of like a flirtatious kind of thing back and forth, and you know, I really loved him, and I, like, before I could actually tell him, wait, it wasn't 2007, it was 2006, yeah, 2006, before I actually could tell him how I really felt, he, um, got into a drunk driving accident, um, he had a problem. He was, at the time I was 16, and at the time he was like 17 or 18. And he was at a Valentine's Day party. And luckily, luckily I didn't go because my mama told me no. So, thank you mom, by the way. But, um, he ended up passing away. So, he was driving home drunk and going through, I'm in South Carolina, and he was going through a, a city here in South Carolina called Goose Creek. And, yeah, he got into a car crash, was going too fast, went and stopped for the red light, and ended up hitting a car. This is his car, okay? He ended up hitting another car like that. And, of course, like that. Yeah. Um, there was a mother on the driver's side, and right behind her was her newborn infant child. Um, he killed them, and they died, like, on the spot. That's how bad this car crash was. Well, I ended up going to the hospital. His mom ended up picking me up, and I ended up going to the hospital with him. And I pretty much saw him die. So that's what this um, poem's about. It's me. It's my way of letting him go. So, Sleep, sleep now, my dark angel. Close your eyes. It's all right. You can let go now. You have nothing left to fight. So sleep because it's all right. Sleep, sleep now, my dark angel. Don't worry about me. I will be all right. In time, the sun will shine, shine again for me. I promise that I'll never forget, forget you and me. So darling, so darling, sleep, sleep now, my dark angel, forever in a world of peace. So, yeah. Some of the poems, if you haven't realized, some of the poems I write are kind of dark. You know, I'm going, I only like write. When I'm, I only write poems when I'm like really upset or you know really angry or hurt or something. So yeah, that was the first one. And this next one, if I can find it, is called "My Angel's Goodbye Lullaby." Um, this is about um a guy I dated once, and he was a complete asshole, abusive all that kind of stuff. So this is what this poem is about. It's called My Angel's Goodbye Lullaby. I once was a woman like no other, looking so much like my mother. I was beautiful, wonderful, but all, but that all died when you lied, lied right to my face. Now I have fallen from grace. You left me alone, never picked up the phone. I loved you, you see, but you never loved me. And now everything has changed. I have become deranged. Now I'm a demon going to hell. Your sins I will tell. So now this is my goodbye, my angel's goodbye lullaby. 
yeah, the guy ended up cheating on me. That's the whole gist of the poem. If you can't tell, I'm flipping through the internet because a lot of the poem, a lot of my best poems are I post on Facebook and stuff like that. Um. Okay, this next poem is called "Wish I Could Remember." It was actually, it's actually for a fan fiction I'm writing called I Am a Still Law. It is a Vampire Night fan fiction. I love Vampire Night. I absolutely love Vampire Night. I'm obsessed with vampires, so why wouldn't I love Vampire Night? But anyways, yeah, this poem was for, um, that fan fiction. Behind these eyes in my dreams, I see things in a haze. Leaving me in a daze, someone holds me close to them, whose face is always hidden. People stare and bow as I walk into a room, but there is one thing I wish I didn't see. Blood, blood everywhere, on the ground, on my clothes, on my hands. I wish I could remember all the things I once held dear. I wish I could remember the man that I once loved. I wish I could remember what all the blood meant. I wish I could remember the royalty I used to be. So, yeah, that was for a fan fiction. Okay, and this next one, hmm. this next one is about, is, well, okay, anyways, this next one is pretty much about the same guy that I told you about who cheated on me, so, it's called What Have You Done? What have you done? This battle has just begun. You have hurt me, why well, won't you let me be? Can you not see I no longer love thee? What have you done? Was it all just for fun? I am alone now, wondering how. How could you do this to me? I will never be free. <sighs> what have you done? Was I not the one? How could you be so cruel? You played me for a fool. Is it not enough to have complete control? Okay, that kind of didn't rhyme, but I just threw it in there. What have you done? You have won. I lay here helpless on this floor, dead once more. You are the one. You have won. I'm dead now, as you say how. How can I be so cruel? Darling, I was the fool. Beg all you want, but he has won. Darling, what have you done? Yeah, that one was pretty dark. So. <laughs> okay, this next one is Save Me. It's, um... I wrote this in my really, really, really dark depression days, so... I pretty much can, you probably can pretty much tell the gist of the poem by just listening to it. Save me from this hell, my secrets I will never tell. I'm forever lost, my heart is nothing but frost. I am cold, or so I am told. Save me, save me, can you all not see? This pain I feel is anything real, I am nothing, so save me, save me. That's not one of my best ones, although I do like it. I mean, I like the message it gets because it's, you know, that's what I felt at the time. This next one is pretty, pretty deep, just so you guys know. It's called, um, Cut Me Deep. This is about another guy. Cut me deep and watch me bleed, darling, you've taken the best of me. Cut me deep and watch me fall, honey, I gave you my all. Cut me deep, steal my soul, I'm alone again, cause you're never there. Cut me deep, stop my heart, a heart that beats for you. Cut me deep with your cold blue eyes, eyes that I can't say no to. Cut me deep with your hateful words, words that aren't just words. Cut me deep again and again, why do I keep running back to you? Cut me deep, I can't say no. Cut me deep, I can't deny it. Cut me deep, bring me over and over. It's so wrong, but feels so good. Cut me deep, I breathe you in. Breathe you in, just to feel alive. Cut me deep, I'm lost now. Cut me deep, and now I'm gone. Cut me deep, and watch me bleed. Darling, you've taken the best of me. Okay. This very last one, okay, um, it's a, it's a really, really dark one, um, that's why I'm saving it for last, um, I wrote this actually recently, like, within the last, like, few days, because I've been dealing with a lot of stuff with my mom, and all this other stuff, so, um, just came, real. I honestly really just came out of a depression, so, um, this one's called Death, O oh Death, and it's really short, so, 
Death, though death, come sweetly to me, only you can set me free. Free from this pain, break this chain that binds me, blinds me, confines me. Death, though death, come softly to me, you and only you can set me free. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it um, gave you a chance to really see inside my soul, I guess I can say. But, um, yeah, I'm not a really depressed person. I'm really not. Um, I go through those times just like everybody else, and music and poetry and writing is my way of letting it all out. So, I know all you little trolls and haters and all those people are going to be posting nasty, nasty things, but you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm done with it. You can't hurt me. I'm done. I found a new strength. I'm not going to, like, reply to you. So, you know what? I have, you know, two words for you. Fuck you. I'm not dealing with it. So, leave me the fuck alone. Anyways. But, yeah. This was my poetry. Almost 12 minutes. Longest video I've probably ever made. But yeah, I hope you guys like these poems, and I hope it gave you guys a chance to see who I really am, and some of the stuff that I go through, and to anyone out there who is watching this right now, or well, not right now, technically, because I'm recording it, but you know what I mean. If there's anyone out there who is watching this video, excuse me, I burped, and you're dealing with a lot of stuff, and you're really depressed, and you're hurting, and you're in pain, you're not alone. You're really not. I'm here, and I want anyone who is depressed and going through these rough times, message me. Message me on Facebook, or not Facebook, but on here. And if you need to, I'll give you my Facebook, and all this other stuff, I'll give you my Facebook and my email. Because I want to make a difference in your lives. If you're hurting and you need someone to talk to, just message me. I want to be there for anyone who feels like giving up. Don't give up. It's not worth it. All this stuff, all these, like, bullies and... All this stuff is not worth it because there are so many people out there who probably care about you. Honestly, I sometimes I don't feel like my mother cares about me because my mother's mean and she can be a bitch. But I know at the end of the day, she does love me. My family loves me. My boyfriend loves me. And that's really all that matters. All that matters is your true friends your family, and the ones you love. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones who are going to be there. You will hurt them severely. I can guarantee you, you are going to put so much hell on them if you decide to end it. If you decide to let go. You're going to hurt people. And if I end up talking to you and I find out that you hurt yourself, I'm going to be hurt. Even if I don't know you, I'll be hurt because I know what you, I know how you feel. I know how it feels. I know how it feels to feel like you're abandoned, like no one cares, like you're alone in the dark. I know how it feels. So, if, you, if anybody out there who is watching this and you need someone to talk to, message me. I am here. I care. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. And I hopefully will make another one soon. Cause I know I haven't made any videos in a while. I'm sorry, but like, I'm all. I'm, I'm, on a bed. I know, that's so like, that's a southern thing right there, I know. <laughs>